each other's hearts, even if there's a little bit of separation in between, okay? In the same time, there is so much love and passion and desire. And the honeymoon card to me represents a bit that feeling of a, of a daydreaming and envisioning you and him in this romantic place in Venice, and I've been there <laughs> many years ago. And um, look at this guy here, like the angels of the wing protecting you too. And it's like he's saying that this is not just a dream. This honeymoon uh, is what you're visualizing now because this is something that you can make this dream come true into the future. Okay? So the energy uh, for this week is very positive. It's about so much love and um, affection and desire. Honeymoon is all about love and making love. And um, however, uh, right now there are certain matters that need to be dealt with. There's a deception card, which is okay. Let's not um, over-dramatize this. Someone is wearing a false mask into this relationship because there is a situation uh, between the two of you or other parties involved in your life that uh, these people in your life need to be uh, completely dissolved and eliminated from your life in the sense that uh, you got to let go of the old forms of living your life. There are some changes that need to be made in order for this dream to manifest and become reality. And uh, right now, uh, there are some hidden information, either by one, or by you or, or the other party, your soulmate or your twin flame. Or just your partner without tagging people you know certain names um, that uh, there might be a third party situation and maybe one of you or both of you um, is committed to someone else but um, you are working on this this is what he's saying because you have a vision now you have a dream and you want to make it true so because you have put the roots and now you are like envisioning how the future between the two of you is going to be, you are, you just, you're deceiving yourself and you don't want to live a lie anymore. So you are detaching yourself from situations that are no longer serving you in order to make your dream come true. Um, and, and you're going to say, well, how do you know this, Yoni? Well, because in the future position, we have new love. And it's saying a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Look how beautiful this card is. And you know who that person is. Is this person that you have known from the past or you already have some spiritual connection and you just, you can't stop thinking and dreaming about them. That's how I know. And you want this person to be your new partner, okay? And right now, you are, in, you are not in a dilemma. Don't take me wrong. You know what you want and who you want. But you are, um, you are trying to go through the transition in a very balanced and diplomatic way. But it seems like it's becoming frustrating and it's no longer working for you. And you got to accelerate this process of eliminating this these people or whoever is present in your life or whatever attitude or behavior that uh, is no longer serving you, is no longer serving being close to the love of your life, okay? You need to change the approach in order to achieve what you want because this is not just a dream. Honeymoon is always like a dream land and, you know, uh, living on the moon <laughs> and and serenading or romanticizing each other um, which is beautiful but you don't want to just serenade one another all the time and singing songs right you want to make this concretize and make this a reality and you want to bring this to reality you want to bring this new partner in 
Okay, you've been fantasizing a lot and keeping this love so close to your heart. Okay, so now in the present is saying, what are you going to do about it? Okay, you got to solve baggages, uh, situations and people or attitudes that are not benefiting uh, and not creating the space the necessary space for for your the love of your life to come into your life okay and you've been wanting this so bad in the bottom of the deck we have calling your soulmates and it's saying your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together you have definitely been praying for this person to be into your life you wanted this person so bad and when you saw this person, you were like, did I say that out loud? Did actually somebody listen when I said that? And uh, you just can't believe this is, this is too good to be true. And, uh, and what the, the angels are saying, you got to trust this process because this is the person who is meant to be for you. And... Um, and take this gift because it's yours and you ask for it. You've been praying for somebody like that with certain qualities, certain behavior, certain features. Uh, the way he makes you laugh and the way he makes you cry <laughs> like nobody else. But um, he has opened your heart in ways that nobody else could. You wanted somebody to feel this passion and depth in this connection so much and the angels are saying trust this situation is calling for you to have faith so let this go because it's divinely orchestrated and guided in order for you and you are protected that's what the guidance are saying you are protected and it's going to lead you to the person and to the love of your life to your soulmate or even twin flames okay um, this is going to happen soon it's saying very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so what is saying you got to have a positive mindset when it comes to trust and faith you got to visualize this and think and act as if it's already yours and this person is is your love of your life so don't this deception sometimes works is even relating to this connection that you you want to be close to if you are in separation don't fall for the illusions okay don't fall for uh, beha behaviors that are based on fear and anxiety and fear and insecurity fear of the unknown whatever you or him are triggering each other they're just wounds that need to be dealt with and you need to heal it but you gotta look deep inside your heart and say do i love this person yes you do and is he acting right or she acting right maybe not maybe he's not but in divine timing uh, he's going to realize his actions and he's going to open up his heart and mind and he's going to feel that he there's things that they need to work on themselves as well and why they're going to do that because you're going to lead them by example you're going to show them love you're going to show them love okay love you're going to say them you know despite of your attitude and behaviors um I have nothing else but unconditional love for you. However, I need to love and respect myself as well. Healthy boundaries are, are necessary. And you know when you're doing the right thing. So if it's you in a temporary situation where there's a bit of detachment, it's okay because it's meant to happen in order for you and him to heal and grow and mature mentally and spiritually and emotionally okay that's how you're going to reach certain balance in order to make this happen right now maybe you're a bit overwhelmed depends what phase of your life are you right now 
maybe initial phases that everything's so overwhelming and it just is beyond your control and you don't know how to handle the situation. But this is saying that have faith because it's coming and but you got to visualize like it's yours. Okay, so uh, this way you give um, your partner the example that it's okay, this is okay, and um, we're, we're moving forward from a place of love and not from a place of um, mind games and deception. Okay, so uh, these are beautiful cards. And once you show that positive energy within you and to them, lead them by example, they're going to open up more and more to you. Look like she's trusting him and he needs to see that. You know, she's completely surrendered her shoulders into his chest. And that's uh, exactly in trust again here. Like she is to lead by example that when she falls into his arms, she trusts him. Okay? Because uh, the energy is reciprocated. When he feels fear, he's going to feel defensive. And then the deception is going to happen. That triggers in all forms of shapes. But when there is trust and love within and without, um, then uh, he's going to feel uh, loved and he's going to uh, slowly open up to your love. Okay? It seems like you both are dreaming this week a lot about each other and I feel like this energy this week is that not just fantasizing but dreaming this dream uh, to, con to turn it into reality is that desire to actually have a real honeymoon together like they're dreaming like how beautiful it would be to actually have a honeymoon together <laughs> He is dreaming about that with you. And he says, this can happen very soon. But uh, you really got to feel and act like it's coming soon. Yes, yeah, so beautiful. This is the energy. The energy is that making dreams come true. And you got to actually visualize and envision the reality behind the the visualization okay um, yes that's it for now keep dreaming and uh, because the more you dream the more it's gonna come into reality it's exactly what this card is saying you have already called your soulmate and he is here but now you gotta keep having faith and pray and trust God like it's in this journey is so important to trust and believe in the existence of God is the only way that uh, faith in God is going to bring you closer to your uh, partner okay so thank you guys that's it for now and uh, have a nice rest of the week enjoy the rest of the week take care bye